Hi, this is Toys Bag Zen. This is part three of the Adventure Team G.I. Joe Headquarters Restoration. If you haven't watched part one or part two, I'd advise you to do that. Otherwise, sit back and relax, because today we're going to be making some parts and putting the playset together. So here's our printouts of the maps. This playset comes with, I believe, four maps. And I've printed four, but two of them are a different size. Just putting some clear coat on them to give the maps a shine. I've printed this on just regular paper. And here it is dry and you can see how it's got that nice shine to it. The clear coat also gives it a rigidity too. Next we have to make the gas pump nozzle. And what I've done is I found a picture of somebody with it in their hand and I've made it the same size as my hand so that I have some kind of scale to go by. I'm going to be taking two polystyrene pieces for the thickness and let's, uh, let's connect them together with some plastic weld I'm using Plastruck plastic weld. So I'm just going to put a little bit of painter's tape on this and we're going to be gluing a printout of the nozzle as our template. I'm just using this app so that I can print it out at the scale that I want it and uh, using my wireless printer will print it out. From end to end, four centimeters. But because the nozzle is in the square kind of on a diagonal, I ended up printing it out at 5.5 millimeters. All right, let's print it out. So what I've done here is I've glued it just with wood glue to the tape and we're going to cut this out. So shaping this is my next task. I'm using a series of files. I have a flat file, I have a small square file, and I also have a round file. And I'm just going around the edges, squaring everything up. And once everything is shaped the way I want it, then I'm going to round all the edges off.
So here I'm going to clean it up with a, this is kind of a dull X-Acto knife blade. It's not super sharp, but what it does, it acts as a scraper. And I'm actually scraping all the corners and everything, making everything kind of uh, finalized and smooth from the file marks. This will help it give it a nice smooth texture. So I still need the peg for the hose and I'm going to cut that from a piece of constructs. I could have actually constructed this from the polystyrene as one piece, but um, I didn't. So instead of making it all over again, I've decided to just add it. Here I'm just filing out the trigger um, and if you can see the the printout, you can see I'm using that as my guide to make sure that uh, that everything looks looks right when it's done. Some final sanding will make everything smooth. And here's our nozzle. Now I just have to put the hose connector on. Let's paint it, just using these paint pens, and we're painting it silver. Nice. All right, now let's put it together. This is what I've been waiting to do. I'm super excited for this part. This is the part where you know you make sure that everything fits together and all that hard work we've done fixing all the pieces and making pieces, put it all together. So first we have this pole or post you put through the chair and it fits on the bottom of the playset and then the top of the second floor. There's a little round piece that it just fits in. Let's put the second floor in. This second floor goes up and down and it's held in with the little sliding mechanisms on the top. There's four of them and they just slide into the laminated cardboard walls.
Seems pretty sturdy. Let's put the control panel in. This thing is really, really heavy with the batteries in it. There's two plastic pieces that are riveted to the second floor walls and that holds it in. Let's connect the light into the control panel. Next we have the repaired hanging rack. You can see one side is different than the other. One side is fits into the top part of the first floor. And the next piece slots into the laminated wall. So I don't have the hangers for this, but I do have a shelving rack that um, it does have more pieces than this, but I'm just gonna hang it up here. I think it's gonna look good. And we'll spend some time putting some boots and accessories in the playset. And we've got our table and our maps. There it is. As you can see here, the light is working still. Thanks for watching. I'm Toys Back Zen. Just to let you know that every time I see somebody subscribe to my channel, make a comment, and like my videos, it really motivates me to continue on doing these videos and making them better and better every week. See ya.